Now I'm going to show you how to create filters based on email aliases. So this is really simple. And what it's going to do is it's going to let us see at a glance in our inbox, what kind of emails we have. So first we're going to go up to settings, see all settings, filters and blocked addresses, create a new filter. Here we're going to fill in our different email aliases. So we can start with payments. We'll create a filter for this. And when it comes into our inbox, we want to apply the label. We're going to have to create a new one because we don't have the one uh, for payments yet. So we'll name it payments and we'll click create. Now, if you do want to do any of these other things, you totally can. Um, a lot of people I know like to skip the inbox, archive it, it goes straight into the folder and it never hits your inbox. Um, this keeps your inbox looking nice and clean. I don't personally like to do this. I like to be able to see um, what's in my inbox. And if it's in my inbox, I know it needs action. And if it's filed away in a folder or a tag, then I know that I've already taken action on it. So I don't do this. I just apply a label. We'll go ahead and create the filter. And then we're going to make a couple more. So we have to support. We'll create this filter. We also want to label this one, go new label. We'll name this label support and we'll click create. All right. By the way, if you do already have, um, email. So if you already have like a support email, you can apply the filter to any conversations that already have been sent to that email address, which is great. Um, it will just automatically tag them. In this case, I don't have um, any emails that have already gone here, so I don't need to click that um, box. And again, if there's anything else you want to do here, feel free to tick that box, but I'm just going to click create filter. Okay. Now that I have these filters set up, I'm going to go back to my inbox and I'm going to change these colors. So payments, I'm going to go to label color. I'll make it green. Then support is really important. So I'm going to go to the label color and let's make it orange. So it stands out. Now I'm going to pause really quick. I'm going to send some example emails to those aliases and you'll see how that shows up in my inbox. Okay. Now you can see that I've sent some example emails and how quick and easy you can see what is in your inbox and what is going to be really important and what is maybe not quite as important. So our support that I have labeled in orange really stands out. Um, and we can see really quickly which support emails we have. We also have our payments emails, whether in my case, whether I owe money or I've got money. And then this is just a general email that goes to like my general email address. So this is a really easy way to sort through your inbox and see exactly what you need to take action on. And sometimes maybe it's uh, you've got money and you just hit archive on it, but at least you've seen that instead of it getting you know lost in a folder. If you do want to go through folder by folder or tag by tag, you can do that. You can go directly to your payments and go through these and take action on them, delete them or leave them in the tag. Um, you can also do the same with support. So if you want to just knock out all of your support, um, questions at once, you can do that by clicking on this tag. I find this is a really easy, simple, fast way to organize your inbox as a small business owner, especially as a solopreneur so that at a glance, you can open up your email and say, okay, I don't have any orange support tickets. So I don't have anything that needs my attention right this second, or, Oh, look at all the green. I've got a lot of money that either I owe or I've got coming in. Very cool. And then I just think this is a really great, simple way to organize your inbox. And I hope you found this helpful.